Good morning guys my name is Tamanna I am from India I gave my interview for Birmingham City University on 25th November today I got mail that I cleared that interview I recommend all you to watch mock interviews on JK Civil Engineer YouTube channel it is highly beneficial for me also it was very similar to my interview that I gave mock interview to the university interview it was quite similar and all the questions you should listen carefully and also the feedback given by JK Civil Engineer YouTube channel was excellent as I focus more on that feedback and i and i found that all this is useful for me and i want to recommend all you that it will also be a student visa application you have to go through pre cas cas and immigration interviews i'm providing the more cas interviews to help you crack all the interviews along the way i started this service free to help students like yourself but unfortunately the human nature doesn't accept the free stuff without abusing the system these interviews are not exceptional if you want to be part of these mock interviews click join next to the subscribe button on any of my youtube video you would receive a personalized meeting invite and potential questionnaire to prepare beforehand let's enjoy the recording Thanks for video. joining in uh, can you confirm your name and date of birth please my name is arikan sumulingam and my date of birth is 28th of december 2000 what course and modules you are going to study i have applied for bsc honors business management with business experience that course contains eight important modules uh particularly there are five important modules are uh, uh, business management uh worldwide business marketing and uh, competitive business management and the uh business strategy and technical business and so on what's your favorite modules and why uh, my favorite module is the competitive business strategy uh, because uh, it can understand the competitiveness among many businesses uh, in this particular module so i like it sir why did you choose this course first of all this is an interesting field of study for me and doing this course will provide me a specialization in my field of interest uh, this innovative and interdisciplinary course will help me to gain the skills and knowledge required in the key business discipline coupled with the broader global business perspectives i will also gain the working understanding of uh, key functional concepts in the operational areas like business management uh, business research marketing finance accounting operations management and the human resource management more than a bachelor degree this course provides me as a professional and support my career aspiration therefore i opt this course how does this course relate to your previous study sorry sir this course is not directly related to my uh, previous study uh, but i have uh, interest to opt this course uh, because this course is my undergraduate course so how long does your course last uh the exact length of my course is 29 months sir and how is your course assessed uh basically my course is assessed on the basis of written examinations assignments demo presentation report writing case study and dissertation and so on so why do you want to study at this university uh firstly i planned to study in uk and i searched few universities in the internet and i choose the kingston university because of world class facilities and wide range of courses are available at there and particularly the kingston university retaining its uh, top 50 position in the golden league table 2021 and this university has students from more than 140 countries across the world uh, especially this kingston university uh, welcome uh, a, more than 1500 new international students uh, every year and it is just uh, 30 minutes from the central london and has been consistently reported as the one of the safest barrow and happiest place to live inside the greater london uh, as well as the kingston university uh, is a truly multicultural university therefore i choose this university for my study what university campus will you be studying at career counseling career progression cv review job finding techniques in the uk one to one session these are the few perks you will receive when you join my youtube channel as a member 
Getting membership of my YouTube channel is a straightforward process. Next to the subscribe button on any of my YouTube channel video, click the join button there and select the one to one session and pay by the direct debit or by paywall. Post your membership, you will receive a one to one session meeting invite at your convenience. Sim I'm going to study at the London campus, which is located in the southwest of London, sir. Did you research other universities? Yes, I have uh, researched the University of Bedfordshire, University of Bradford, University of uh, Hertfordshire. Uh, but I am not satisfied with that, sir, because uh, that universities have uh, less study infrastructures and uh, less facilities than this university, sir. How much is your course tuition fee? The total cost of my course is 15,475 Great Britain pounds, sir. How do, why do you wish to study in the UK rather than in your home country? Basically, I have been interested in the British culture and the British uh, universities are internationally recognized. And it is the home to three of the top 10, universe, top 10 universities in the world according to the world university ranking. As well as it is one of the top most countries providing good quality of education for international students. and. It is a different atmosphere for me to meet new people uh, with different cultures. And I personally believe the UK standard of education will render me a, a better future. Uh, the similar course is also available in my home country. But only few universities offer this course. Uh, moreover, the population level in my country is very high and the reservation system is very difficult for us. I think that is better for me to get admission in any international university like uh, UK and by getting UG degree and PG degree in UK, uh, it's very easy to get job opportunity in my home country in the future. Therefore, I of UK. What are your post study plans? After completing my undergraduate and postgraduate course, my plan would be to return to my home country and get a top managerial job in a highly reputed company here. I'm confident that I would have experience and exposure acquired from the UK will be the better fine for. Indian companies, uh, I'm sure that they can secure the best business in one of the top firms here in India with a satisfied education from UK, particularly Kingston University in the future. Where you will be staying in the UK? Good question. Uh, my first and topmost priority is to secure an accommodation within the university campus. This will let me to reach the classes easily and easily access to all the study infrastructure that Kingston University offers. The university also provides a designated flats for international students and the rooms are ensured. Uh, living inside the campus uh, will also help me to increase the front circle quickly. And I will be a sort of my safety and security every day, every hour in choosing the campus accommodation. However, in case if I didn't get opportunity to secure uh, within the campus, then I will have to hunt up for private accommodation near the campus premises. I want to stay close with the uh, university campus so that I can utilize all the facilities of the university. Who's finance? So, sorry, uh, ca carry on, carry on. Uh, I have certain budget range of 150 pounds to 250 pounds per week and search with two private accommodations. The first one is uh, Sharing House, which is located at the London SW40. The second one is Sharing Flat with the ancient bedroom, uh, which is located at the Kingston Vale SW40. Thank you much. Uh, who's financing your study in the UK? My father will finance for my studies. What is the profession of your financial sponsor? Uh, my father runs a food business in my hometown. The annual income is nearly 15 lakhs per year. Do you know the how much? Camp. Do you know how much your accommodation will cost in the UK? Yes, I know. Uh, the accommodation cost inside the London will be 1,200 pounds to 1,500 pounds. When it comes to the outside of London, uh, the cost will be come around 800 to 1,000 pounds. Do you know whether you are entitled to work in the UK during your study? Yes, I know. A student can work 20 hours per week during their study time, but I am not interested to work. Soon. 
So are you reliant on the work? Are being able to work uh, to, to be in the UK? I shouldn't depend on work to pay my tuition fees and living costs because my parents will send me money for my studies and other expenses. By the way, I will manage my uh, study costs and living costs. Sir. Thank you very much. That that's all I have to ask from yourself. Is there any questions for me? Uh, yes, sir. how is my performance? Sir? Thank you very much. Uh, it was good. It was fluent. Uh, your English is is really good. Uh, I'm impressed, actually. Uh, so this is is very consistent fluency there uh, in in your responses. Uh, one thing I would uh, emphasize on uh, about your modules. Uh, so you need to have all the modules on your fingertips, basically. Yeah, what you're gonna study. Yes, that yes, is. I realize the mistakes. Sir. Yeah, yeah. So that that will be because there will be a lot more questions on the module side. Um, maybe like I mean, what modules you're going to study first year and how that's going to progress into the next year. So this this is the question basically. It will be around modules quite a, a long sort of yeah counter questions there. So prepare that a lot more basically. I'm sure you can get all the modules from from the website or from your course coordinator. Yes, so you will have. All Otherwise, the, the module have is my performance and other questions, sir. Absolutely, uh, you you were spot on. Actually, I couldn't find anywhere else. Actually, uh, otherwise, you you are uh, technology is a bit sort of messy as well. Make sure when you prepare, you you you're well prepared. Yeah, you you your sort of yeah voice is a bit cracking as well. Uh, so you are in a position. I, there's no much. Sorry, noise. sir. I have sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I have a query. After completing my secondary studies, I have three years of experience. What type of questions will they ask to me? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't catch your question. After completing my higher secondary studies, I have three years of experience. Right. Uh, so, what type of questions will they ask to me? So, after completion of your study, you have three years experience. Yes. 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 No, but you can relate. Obviously, I mean, your experience, you can relate to your your studies. I mean, that's that's what the relationship will be. I mean, like I asked the question, yeah, what, how does your course relate to your, your, your previous studies, right? So obviously your course wasn't related, but you ho have the experience. So you can talk about your experience and there'll be counter question on the same. Yeah, how, how much yes, gap you had? I tell the answer, uh, you can hear, sir. Can you hear? After completion of my, uh, when I did, when I have decided to pursue my undergraduate course, I feel I need to have some practical experience in the respective field uh, to understand the course because the UK education system uh, is more focused on practical and research oriented. I realized that if I have me, if I have some practical experience, uh, it will definitely help me to understand and complete the course successfully, and I will have used all the chances to succeed my course. That took small break from my studies. Yeah, yeah, Fine, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, as long you have some relevance, yeah, between the course and what your experiences, or obviously your your previous study wasn't uh, relevant, so you had the experience. So absolutely, yeah, that that ties up. Yeah, the, the two is it marries up. Yeah, with the, with the course, so that's absolutely fine. Um, no no issues with that. And as as I said, I mean. Your fluency in, in response is, is brilliant. Your your uh, English is perfect, and uh, it's it's just uh, the the one the modules there will be counter question yes, sir, maybe yes, about the financial that, uh, the financial. Uh, think... Make sure you you have obviously you you got the four year score, so there will be a financial sort of yeah how you're gonna pay your fee, whether that's gonna be uh, per year or semester or how you arrange with the university. So there will be counter question on financial as well. As long you have the the, the, the right content with yourself, you already prepared to answer these sort of questions that they, they might be asked. So the two the two parts I can suggest uh, work on your modules and your financing uh, financing because it's a four year course. So how you gonna finance basically how you you're gonna pay the fee well, whether it be annual or how how is the arrangement with your sponsors to pay the the, the, the university so. Just, just work it. Make sure you have one specific answers. I mean, to these questions. I mean, that, that that's all I can add here. And apart from that, perfect. Yeah, uh, I, I can't add anything else. And I wish you all the best in your future. Thank you, lot, sir. Thank you, lot, sir. Thank you uh, very much. Yeah. Uh, I am also thank you a lot for this great help, sir. Uh, I needed. Uh, I said this type of mock interview for, for many more days. Uh, finally, I. Uh, I wish you, you all the best. Thank you very much. And I'm sure you, you will sir. do well. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, Bye. Sir. I need this video, sir. Can you send?
absolutely i will share this when when i upload it so i'll share the link yeah thank you very much thank you okay so thank you sir Yes, I mean, I go only 15 minutes before the next interview, so I need to be a bit quick. But this is a heads up for your final interview. If you do the same in your final interview, uh, don't expect. I mean, you, it will happen yeah, actually in next hour or so. You will lose your space. I mean, this is a heads up there as well because you, you, your timing okay, sir, okay, was nine o'clock. It was nine o'clock in the morning, and uh, this is now 10 10:42 now. So. Um, Obviously, this is okay. a drill. You have to prepare for the, that final interview. And uh, we, we're going to go through a bit formal. Uh, those questions I've provided already. I will provide you a bit of feedback at the end of the interview as well. I mean, just listening to your, to your responses and see if I can add value as well before you prepare for your final interview. Okay. Uh, and uh, if, if there's any interference along the way, uh, make sure you stop me there so I can repeat the question as well. But before that, can you briefly talk me about oh, yourself? You. Yeah, like, I mean, what's the intention? What, what, what your plan is when you're coming? What university you're joining? So, I'm, I have applied for BSC Honors, the International Business Management with Business Experience in the Kingston University. My name is Arakalam Sambulikam. I am 21 years old. Uh, after completing my higher secondary course, I worked in an automobile pass manufacturing company for around three years to get a practical knowledge to enhance my uh, practical experience. For the, that's why I indulged myself in the work. Uh, now I have applied for the undergraduate course. That name is BSc Honors with uh, uh, business management with business experience in the Kingston University, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so we will make this a bit formal. I will ask you the question and we go through a bit formal way. And then uh, as I said, I mean, I will provide you some feedback at the end as well. And uh, I'm sure, yeah, that's, yes, that's going to help you uh, for your final interview as well. So if everything is clear, let's get started.